Mini Golden Doodle Size Guide Who wouldn't want a real-life teddy bear in the form of one of the most popular crossbreeds of all time? The Mini Golden Doodle is exactly that, and has become a highly sought-after subsection of the already popular Golden Doodle breed. There are a few different sizes of this shrunk-down doodle, and we're going to break down all of them, as well as giving you some more information so you can make the best choice possible for you. Here is the complete Mini Golden Doodle Size Guide for 2022. All of the Sizes To give you a brief overview, today we're going to be breaking down all three versions of the Mini Golden Doodle. These include the titular Mini, as well as the teacup and toy sizes. It's worth mentioning straight up that these dogs are not only rarer, but are more expensive than the standard Golden Doodle, and we just wanted to get that out of the way quickly before getting your hopes up if price is an object here. For each of the sizes, we're also going to talk a little more in-depth about the breeder experience itself, so that you can have a better idea about what to expect once you get your heart set on any of these adorably sized doodles. These sizes are all sort of new, and so we're still finding out new information every day. Because of this, it's important to be vigilant when it comes to mini golden doodles, as a lot of people don't know all of the facts before they pull the trigger on what is a huge decision. The Teacup Golden Doodles don't get much smaller than this. The Teacup Golden Doodle is a super compact version, and the smallest sized one you can buy. These doodles will weigh at most 13 pounds, and be roughly the size of a piece of standard printer paper. They're about 11 inches tall, and you can easily tuck them into just one arm safely. These doodles don't need to exercise all that much, mostly because they tend to be less energetic than the larger sizes. You can quite easily take care of this dog properly in any housing arrangement, as they won't need all that much room to be happy. This mini size is highly controversial, however, and it's because of how small they actually are. In order to achieve this, breeders basically have to select the runts of every litter to breed with one another, and that's not even to say what unlicensed breeders may do to come up with a dog this tiny. These runts often have their share of genetic issues, and so creating a DNA pool that is entirely made up of these runts can result in some serious health problems as these dogs get older. That can make this dog very costly, and that's without even taking into the account that it's not uncommon for these dogs to sell for over $5,000. These dogs are adorable, but the issues surrounding their breeding practices, as well as their laundry list of health issues, means that you may want to consider the consequences carefully before committing to a teacup doodle. The Toy The Toy Doodle, or the Petite as they are sometimes called, are a little bigger than the teacup, and usually stand about 3 inches taller at 14 inches. They are also usually heavier, and on average, a toy golden doodle will grow to be around 20 pounds as an adult. If you are currently living in an RV, small apartment, or a condo, then this size may be perfect for you, as they don't need nearly as much space as a regular golden doodle. Toy-sized doodles are usually pretty laid back, but they can become difficult if they don't have the room they need, or if they aren't getting a lot of exercise. When this happens, the doodle may become a bit more destructive, tearing things up and trying to get its aggression out that way. The toy doodle also tends to have less energy than a regular or even a mini golden doodle, which is a bit of a double-edged sword. You won't need to exercise them as much, but you also won't be able to enjoy some of the parts of the golden doodle's temperament and their natural curiosity quite as much. You won't have to deal with medical issues with the toy as much, and this is a great option for a dog if you want a mellower version of a doodle, or simply aren't able to meet some of the larger doodle's needs. The Mini The biggest size among the mini-sized golden doodles is actually called Mini itself. This version of the golden doodle has a lot more energy than the other two, and is more similar to the larger doodles in terms of personality and temperament. These are lively dogs, usually standing around 16 to 18 inches when they are fully grown. They are also about 10 pounds bigger than the toy, and usually weigh in at 30 pounds. The Mini is typically the most popular size that the Golden Doodle comes in, as they sort of embody the best of both worlds here. They are small and don't require quite as much exercise, but are still energetic enough to feel like a true Golden Doodle. 
These dogs will need to be walked and exercised, but your living space isn't too important as long as those other needs are met. Otherwise, this golden doodle can tend to be a little on the destructive side and may be a bit more difficult to train. You don't need to exercise them all that much to keep them satisfied though, and they are otherwise as sweet as can be. The Mini is good for people who truly want a golden doodle, but for whatever reason wouldn't be able to keep a larger one. These dogs can be walked and love to exercise with you. They have the energy to keep up with you too, and they are literally just a smaller version of the typical golden doodle. As people have wanted smaller versions of the doodle, like the toy and teacup, the Mini has become a bit less spectacular in size. But on the flip side, it is the only one of the three that doesn't have a history of added medical issues, and as a result can live a healthier life on average than the smaller sizes. Where to look for a Mini Golden Doodle the breeder that you choose is always going to be an important decision, but this is particularly the case for a mini golden doodle. Even with somewhat experienced breeders, many of them just see dollar signs with this sized doodle. If you have the money to buy a true mini golden doodle, you don't want to pay through the nose just to get a dog from a bloodline that is inbred or corrupted. This is inhumane to these dogs and creates a lot of issues as they get older. Make sure that you do the proper research so that you can find a breeder that actually cares about these animals and then still be prepared to pay a steep fee for these guys. You will know you are working with a good breeder if they are giving you blood tests, family history, and other signs that this dog is healthy and the breeder cares about their craft. We highly recommend that you visit the Golden Doodle Association of North America so that you can confirm that the breeder you go with can be trusted. Would you ever buy a mini golden doodle? Let us know in the comments down below, as well as your favorite thing about them. Make sure to leave a like if you found this video helpful and to subscribe so that you can get more dog advice and guides just like this one. See you guys next time.